Hi fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here and this is fashionsewingblog.com In today's tutorial what I'm going to be talking to you about is a pattern alteration, basic pattern alteration which is lengthening and shortening your patterns um, I've got two pieces here that I'm going to show you how to do each one of those and um, what I've done is um, I've put a green marker in between down the lines hopefully you can see that there there's a green marker and I've done the same with that one and that's what you call the adjustment line or the alteration line and then you're just going to cut straight through it so I'll start with this one so I've cut that just to save a bit of time okay and I've got some paper here so some more grey paper that goes behind I'm going to place this right on the edge there I put a couple of pins in. You can use tape if you wish. Right, I'm just going to go along here so my hands may be less a bit in view. Put that one there. And one more, I think, should do it. Okay. Right. So I've got that pinned in place. Along there. Okay. Now. For the next section, make sure I align it across this edge here. I've got my quarter there, and it's got a little red slider on there. Hope you can see that. Okay, so I am going to be doing two centimeters. So I've got my gorge there that I've placed along there, making sure this pattern piece is right there. Excellent. So I'll now pin that in place. Brilliant. And I'll put another one there and one more there. Let's get that out of the way. There. There. And one more. And as I said, you can also tape that into place if you wish as well. So there we are. So that's how you're going to be lengthening the actual pattern piece. And then just get your scissors. Follow the line. And you can mark it if you're not quite confident in making sure that you actually follow. And then what I, what I personally would do would tape it and then take the pins out. Okay, so that's lengthening, so I'll put that to one side, and I'll show you how to shorten. Okay, so there's the alteration line, or the adjustment line there, and if you can, people, you know, have taught people who have, um, you can cut the pattern piece itself, or you can actually fold it. So I would get the fold line, fold it to the amount that I want, get my little gorge here, and I'm going to be doing that to about 1.5, which I believe is about 5 eighths of an inch. Yep, that's right on. Put a pin in there. Try and do it in the centre, that will help you to make sure that it evens out on both ends, that end and this end. So, go again just to make sure. Yep, got that where I want it. Pin along there. And check that. Yes, it's on there. And one more pin along there. And you may see what's happened here. It's kind of um, kicked it out of the sink. I suppose would be a good word. So um, what I would advise you to do, and this is about personal measurements, is as long as your uh, hips uh, are not, you're not wanting to make your hips bigger, then um, you would fold that back and it will still keep you within that size, whatever size you are. Like so. And then you've got the pattern piece that you require. 
or it would be a case of taking that out, getting some paper, put it along there, and then what you would do is draw a line all the way up to there, or to there, depending on what your measurement is for your um, waist. So that's a shortening. The other one I showed you, which is this one, was lengthening. And that's the uh, basics of lengthening and shortening and altering pattern pieces. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.